that are in the hospital. Whoa. Uh -huh. There are only five people in all of Pano Bossier Parish that are in the hospital with COVID. That is wonderful, isn't it? How do I know that? Because the doctor that, um, the house, well, one of the doctors that I saw in the hospital told me that. No, those are rocks. Those are actual rocks. They're rocks. Okay, class, class. Thank you. Screen, screen share, lake waves, share. Okay, Megan, can you see lake waves? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to back this up. When you're looking at this video, it's very short. Be thinking about what observations you make about the lake waves. Also be thinking about the similarities and differences between these lake waves in this video and the ocean waves that were in the buoy video that we watched Thursday, okay? And you're gonna be on 21, but you're not writing or drawing anything on 21 yet. This has to do with something we're gonna do in a little bit in the lesson, okay? So that's the lake waves video. I'm going to go back to the buoy waves video so we can see the other waves one. Here's the ocean waves video. Let's stop talking, okay? Did this not have any sound? No. Okay, so this is the ocean waves video. And and I, it's not that I want you to pay attention to the sound. That's not the, the difference that I want you to notice. I want you to look at the waves themselves. With this video, were those big waves or small waves? Small waves. Small waves. Um, okay. What were those waves running into? The rock. The rock. Okay. Were the waves just in the very front or do they seem to be all over the lake? All over, all over, all over the lake. Seem to be uniform, right? Okay. What about the other video? Did the waves seem to be bigger or smaller? Bigger. How do you know they were bigger? Because they look small, didn't they? They're what? They seem to be more choppy. They didn't seem to be as regular, did they? And what was on the tops of a lot of those waves that told us they were taller? Even though from our perspective, they looked like they were shorter. White, that white on the top. And several of us have experience with being out in the water. And we know if the top of is white, those are taller waves. They're rougher waves. If you're prone to being seasick, you're going to know if there's white on the top, that's going to lead to you heaving outside the boat or in the boat if you don't take it over fast enough. Been there, done that plenty of times. What? No, white waves means that the water is choppier. It's uh, taller waves. The boat's going to be moving a lot more up and down. And that movement like that, if you're not looking at something that's steady, um, if you're looking at your eyes are constantly bouncing up and down, that leads to seasickness, just like trying to read in a car. Your eyes are bouncing. And for people who are prone to seasickness, they vomiting. Try doing that while you're uh, keeping an eye on. 
while you're toting someone back for a uh, class, because when you're when you're doing uh, scuba diving uh, certification, you have to do buddy assist, meaning you have to pull someone back. Yeah, I did it the whole time growing up. My poor husband, he was behind me getting coated with me the whole way. He said I was chumming the ocean because we had all kinds of pretty fish following us. Oh, I bet see those nice uh, those nice eels and the sharks, the fish, butterfly fish, I see all kinds of things. No, they're not, but I got to see all kinds of them. I got to see mama shark, the baby, the daddy shark. I got to see all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the ocean. Your bird no bird bird what? Not while I was diving. Jellyfish tend to be in shallow water. We were in 90 foot deep water. Mm -hmm. What? what? No. Okay, so. Where we saw the white caps on the water, that's an indication that the water is more choppy, meaning the waves are more frequent, the waves are more irregular, and they tend to be taller, even if from our point of view, it looked like it was shorter with the waves. Okay. So that did not have any white on the top of the waves, did it? Those are more um, gentle waves more of a row, row, row your boat, you know, gentle way kind of thing. Not, you know, uh, you walk by the boat kind of way, right? Yeah. Is it like shallow? Yes, it's very shallow at the water's edge. Um, can we tell comparing these two video clips that waves can be different sizes? Yeah. Because this is, these are shallower waves, they're not very tall. But the waves in the buoy video, it was in the middle of the ocean, so it's out deeper, and so the waves are taller too. The waves can be different heights, right? Which we got to see that Thursday anyway, right? Especially on Bryson's table where he had water going all over the place. So definitely where the water. Okay. Um, what questions might my friends have about water waves? Yes, sir. What makes the water waves? That's a really good question. Do you think the same thing that causes water waves on the ocean causes water waves on a lake? Yeah. Possible. Possible. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, all went through the ocean even well, y'all went through the the offers to the capacity. Okay. Let's see how we're this today. And even the the uh, stamp is called ocean. Weird. Huh? All right. Does anybody have any other questions about waves? No other questions. Allie. How big can waves get? Okay. Any other questions? What's another question? Can volcanoes make waves? Volcanic force might very well affect it. We've talked about something called a disturbance, and that's a motion that creates a wave, right? And sharks can definitely create disturbances. Yes. A shark or a whale that jumps out of the ocean, or a fish for that matter, those all create disturbances, don't they? 
or a dolphin or a, or a person. Any other questions about waves? Anybody wonder if waves ever stop? Um, what? Your headband matches my shirt. The flowers have the top. And it says ears, it has rounded ears. Your hair actually matches my shirt. Your hair One of the questions written here is what would happen if our wave tanks had something like land in them? How would that affect the land, the waves? Yeah, sandbox. How do sandbars affect waves? They just pop it. Have you ever been to the beach? No. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I think Mr. Williams should sponsor a trip to the beach for us to work on these experiments. Don't you? I think that would be totally reasonable. It is like a jetty instead of rocks. It would be a jetty of sand, and it very much affects how way <laughs> Okay. All right. So let me switch mode and don't laugh about my drawing. No, I'm going to switch mode so I can try to, you know what, let me pull up an image from online. Nope, hold on, hold on, do not make fun of. Um, better get my fingers on the right. Okay, so here's a sandbar in the middle of the ocean. Um, I didn't mean in the middle of it. Yeah, that looks like it. I wasn't thinking about it being in the middle of it. Those do. So this picture is taken in the water with an underwater camera, but the water happens to be so clear, it looks like it's on top of the land. This is what I was thinking about with a sandbar. Um, you have ocean here and the water gets very shallow. And so the sand sticks out above the ocean surface. That's the name of a restaurant. Okay, so a sandbar is really where the ocean gets very, very shallow and the sand sticks out above the ocean surface. Uh, he didn't find one. He pulled that in. He reeled it in. Okay. And again, this, this is an underwater camera and the water is really clear. So it looks like the turtle is outside of the water, but it's not. Right. Stop share my image. Okay. So sandbar, I guess the best way to describe it would be where the water is really shallow so the sand sticks up. But sometimes you have uh, greenery like mosses or small bushes that we grow on it. Okay. All right. Driving question board. Did we ever do a driving question board on this one? Is that what it is in the back? Brainstorm. Oh, that does have to do with this though. Brainstorms, elephants, elephants, that's the same unit. Um, and our phenomenon question we're working on right now is what makes water waves appear the way they do? 
Okay, so now we're working on initial wave models. Let me zoom in. Yeah, models. Nope. Remember how we did these and my, I kind of fussed at some people for not doing their wave model very carefully. This wasn't the best model. This is a better one. A wave and then the still water line needs to bisect your wave. Okay. On your page 19, 17, I'm sorry. Make sure you have something that looks like that and you have a straight line that bisects it. I had a lot of people that did not have theirs looking like that. Okay, so you have a wavy line. And I know you weren't here last week, the hunter. So page 17 in your science log book, you need to draw this in. Okay, still water line. And then you have a straight line that cuts it right in half. Okay. So here's a prompt they tell me to have you guys all think about. Imagine following a water wave caused by a single push. Remember how when we were making the, the wave tank last week and we were making pushes in the tanks. Imagine following a water wave caused by one push as it moved across the tank. What do you think the wave would look like if you took a picture at, of it at one point in time? Use words to help describe the wave's characteristics. Let me remind you of what a characteristic is, okay? If you were to describe my characteristics, blonde hair, freckles, teacher, it's physical descriptors, okay? So give me some physical descriptors of that wave if you were to take a, a single picture of the wave. And remember, I took pictures of your wave last week. I'm going to pull up some of the pictures from last week. Oh, let me give you a smile first. Adrian is trying to make me laugh. <laughs> He's six foot two. Mila would not get in a Jeep crying because the Jeep plays music. And it has this creepy Spanish song that it sings all the time. And I don't know if you can see what's in his hand, but that's a remote control. So that thing runs remote control as well as it has a steering wheel in it, which is jammed up on his legs right there. So he's six foot two riding in a baby Jeep. Um, so his legs are like wedged out both ways. So he got in and I was like, give me a baby style. He said, did this work? <laughs> in this really high voice. <laughs> but me and I still would not get in a Jeep. But yeah. He's doing all he could to make his mom feel better this weekend. I figured you guys would appreciate that one. See, you, you see how bunched up my child is. Can you see his legs? Yeah. That's his legs. You see his legs? It's on. Oh, yeah, his legs are totally out. He's wedged up in that thing. And there's Mila looking at her dad like, what is wrong with him? I am not getting in that Jeep with him. And my husband's just laughing at him. See, Colby, Colby is in high school and he's, he's not taking psychology yet, but he understood, okay, she loves bubbles. So I'm going to put the bubbles in her Jeep and blow bubbles towards the Jeep. And I'm going to get her as close to that Jeep as possible. So Colby would put his foot up in the Jeep because Colby weighs half as much as Adrian because Colby's so skinny. He's the one about to have surgery. So he got her to actually put her foot up on the Jeep and step up in the Jeep for a minute before she hopped back out. So he was the one that got her closest to it. See, she's like, and no, I'm back out of the Jeep. I'm getting back to grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, nope, yeah, not getting in there. <laughs> See what I mean? 
Colby got her towards it. All right. Okay, so here's a good picture of one of the waves. It's not got food coloring in it, so it's a little bit harder to see. That's why I'm putting it at an angle. But you can, well, you can kind of sort of see. The water's up high and then it drops down low. So high to low. Can you see that? I know it's hard to see because it's all clear. But can you see where it's high and then it drops down low? High level drops low level. Sort of, but do you see the wave right there? The wave thing is part of the uh, clipboard. That was um, Blake's jacket. There's another wave. See the wave? Okay. So it says, imagine following a water wave caused by a single push that moves across the tank. What do you think the wave would look like if we could take a picture of it at one point in time? use words to help describe the wave's characteristics. So there's that picture they're asking us to imagine. We don't have to imagine, I took pictures. I took lots of pictures last week. Most pictures in my phone are of my students and of their work. On page 21. Um, we're not drawing in there yet. I actually had enough forethought last week to take pictures because <laughs> it was so hard to see it that fast anyway. Um, So I'm going to skip a little forward to page 21. You're going to have more than one drawing on 21. So if everybody would turn 21 to that big square, we're going to have more than one drawing. Let's make a little square right here. Um, just one. And you see, I can't draw a straight line to save my life. Thank goodness my heart doctors can. Okay. And I know again, my Elmo is being weird with contrast. So we're going to do one wave. Okay. And I know it's not even. I'm so sorry. Don't sue me. Okay. So if we were to do an imaginary line right here, that would be the height, okay? This right here, that's how tall it is, right? We're gonna label that height, H-E-I-G-H-T. That's how tall it is. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it better. It's shaped like what? What does this remind you of on land? What would that be like? A mountain. A mountain or a hill, right? So if, or a sand dune, yes, like a sand dune, yes ma'am? If you have lotion on it, it might be best if you use sanitizer on your hands because the sanitizer would break down the oil from the lotion. Okay, so use sanitizer, okay? You see where the sanitizer is? There you go. Okay, so we're going to use precise terminology. I guess we don't want us to use precise terminology yet. <laughs> We're going to get that in a minute. Absolutely. Um, I think it's on the second row. There might be some open on top of the unopened package, I think. Is there? No. No? Okay. Just can you bust open a pack then? There's not any open? I thought there was.
Make sure you label the top of it lesson nine, okay? All right, guys. So now we're going to do this. Beside it. Look, I'm trying to get this centered. Okay. So I just use the other part. Look. Does that help? Let me zoom it out. It's going to be three. Okay, can you see what I did now? I'm not liking how the Elmo does the contrast. Right? It's going to be three. In this other box, it's going to be three waves. And they're not going to look as tall because I need to put three of them in there. They're going to look shorter so I can fit three of them in there. I guess technically it won't even be a full three. It's going to be like two and a half is going to run outside my box to make it fit. Can y'all see that? Try to at least get that many in. If you can get a full three in there, great. If not, that's okay too. So here's the height. And you need to label this height. Great. And the wave is traveling that way. So you need to label an arrow and then traveling this way. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, okay? Everybody see that? So that shows a wave that's traveling from left to right. Okay. It, we didn't show which direction it traveled. Yes, ma'am. That arrow that's going towards the right is traveling this way. I'm going to write it on the board. So all we labeled on that one is height and traveling this way. Okay. So that would represent several pushes because it's several waves. Okay. Does that look like several hills? Okay. Um, I bet some of you guys, some of your waves might look a little bit bigger than the other waves, right? And that's fine. Because do you remember when we were making our waves on Thursday? Some of our waves, the first wave would look biggest and the other waves would look smaller, wouldn't they? That's how waves move, right? Um, did anybody show your wave where the first one's bigger and then the other ones are smaller, or did everybody make theirs look just like mine? Okay. 
So I'm going to make a class wave model. I'm going to make it on art paper first. And then I'm going to make it over there on that same piece of paper. I'm going to make it on that paper. And then you guys can copy it on your paper. Okay. I'm doing it on this. That way we always have this. Whatever. We'll have like a, a big class copy. Uh, you have some good paper here too. All right. I got zero sun there. I got a lot of That was weird. So, if we're making a big class wave model, what do you think I should put on it? Oh, yes. Would Logan sell, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, should it have height on it? Yes. Okay. But instead of calling it a height, how about we give it the technical name, which is amplitude? I uh, know. That's a little Class wave model. Which way the wave is going? Sound good? I'll make the wave black. The wave is bold. But it's not straight because uh, I can't draw a straight line. Also, can't do. same direction that yours did already, right? Waves, direction, velocity. I'm going to do another arrow here because it's going to get lost in there. Okay, what is this line called? The straight line? The middle section. Right here is the name. You want to guess what the name is? 
No, this is amplitude. Angle. Wave. Wave. Wavelength. Wavelength. Yeah, you're going to have to move all that. And then we wanted to know where our paddle would go. And our paddle had this uh, red color to it. So I'm making our paddle red. You're going to need colored pencils for this. I would suggest we use the same colors. So, red. There's not very many pink because a lot of people did not return back my pink colored pencils. Red, orange, dark blue, and pink. What color skin? Red, orange, dark blue, and pink. Now, where we're going to put this is that big area we have in the box at the bottom. Okay. See, I'm just using this between. Okay, so there's my wave. Here is my still water line. Notice that the same color for the still water line is what I label it in also, keep it more clear. Waves direction of travel, that's also labeled in blue. Then amplitude, I'm gonna measure here. So that is from the top of this to that still water line. Make sure you're spelling these words right. Amplitude, A-M-P-L-I-T-U-D-E. Wavelength is, you can either do the wave from here to here or from here to here. I'm going to do mine from here to here. 
This is wavelength. Again, spell it right. Wavelength. And then our paddle, I'm putting up here. P-A-D-D-L-E. Main reason I did mine in pen is so that everybody can see it well with the Elmo. You guys know my Elmo kind of messes up the, the contrast. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's on the aqua or the blue little pencil sharpener. That other little black pencil sharpener isn't working very well. The pencils lately. Like Yes. Okay, does everybody have that? Okay. So what actually started the wave in our wave tank? The paddle. Otherwise it was just still after we let it settle on the desk. We did, didn't we? It's our energy that moved the paddle that started the wave, right? Yes. And I appreciated that you guys did not because I told my students not to and you guys follow directions. Um, third block did not follow directions and third block lost major points. In fact, one person in third block actually made an F because he did not follow directions. He more than once did not follow directions during the lab. And thought it, he was being funny. 
not so fun. You guys follow directions. While you made a mess, you did not purposefully go out of your way to way, break directions. Which is what we saw in that lake video. Some of the energy was bouncing back off those rocks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, right now, this doesn't seem like it has a lot to do with the elephants, does it? It will. It will wrap back around to the elephants. No. Okay, so that paddle was our disturbance. Right. Remember, we used the term disturbance as the thing that caused the motion that caused the wave. OK, so the paddle was the disturbance. I'm going to add that in there in red. If I can get my red pen out. So I'm going to put this here. Paddle is the disturbance. Spell it right, please. And then I'm going to put in pencil, which caused what? Well, what is this thing we've been describing? the wave and i'm capitalizing wave because that's the whole point of this whole lesson isn't it and then i'm going to add that to my drawing up there on the board too Hole this weekend. I don't want to get any alcohol on my fingers. Okay, so there's one thing they want us to add down here. Okay, in these lines. And I'm going to write it, and you guys are welcome to just straight up copy it from me. A wave is a regular pattern of motion. caused by a disturbance I'm writing really large so it might not all fit on my two lines the paddle 
causes a disturbance Ooh, I'm trying to make it fit. And the wave travels away from it. The amplitude. is the height of the wave the wavelength is the distance from one wave peak to the next. I can't zoom in or it will cut off the width of this.
Okay. Just what? Oh, yeah, holidays today. Okay, Risa's looking at the calendar. Oh. Let me beat myself up in here. Um, we're doing science the rest of the month. Um, I want to finish out this module. You're going to have three days of uh, plants, but in order to finish out module three, which is what this is, your test is lesson 29. That's going to be around May 12th. That's if we do science every day except for the days we test. That's with no breaks whatsoever if we did it every single day other than we test day. Um, I can tell you we are going to have uh, a field day. It's going to be one of the last days of the school year. No parents are allowed to come to it because of COVID. I don't know how many out how many hours it'll be. I don't know any of that. We haven't chosen our t-shirt color yet. Not sure why they're talking. You are going to have some social studies because we still have technically another two units to go. Three actually. Um, it would only be a couple more lessons though. And honestly, I'll probably give you the least information possible to take the test because I need y'all to take the test. I need y'all to take the test because of uh, SLC data that I need. So I probably would keep it straight from the test to do the test. Did I say today? No, you're just disturbing my class. All right, did everybody get all this? Fabulous. Okay, so what do we know about waves that can help us describe them? What do we know about waves that can describe them? What are things that we know about? Well, they can be copied, yes. Yeah. Yes. What are terms that we use to describe waves? Disturbance. What else? Did we just learn a couple? What else? Wavelength. Still water line. Height. Still water line. So we've learned a few terms to describe uh, waves. Yeah. Papers are these things don't seem to be big enough for the paper. So we know amplitude and wavelength are better words to describe height and space in waves. Wave paints we use to make waves, right? And we use different kinds of waves we can wave paints, right? We make small waves, we make short waves. We make waves to space apart, we make waves stuck together, right? And we know that bigger tanks are easier to make these waves than the little cups. Yeah. It's really hard to make a good wave with little cups. So when you have a bigger container. Right. So if we had a lake, I don't know what it would be. Um, is there energy related to waves? Yes. You could feel that when you were doing experiments starting. You're having to put a lot of your energy into making those a waves, right? Pressure. Especially when you're swimming in the water. And have a lot of pressure. Okay. Okay. 
And I'm sure it'll be like four. So keep on adding more and more stuff to it. So it'll be four full pages long. Swing tree structure. Animal have sensory structures. We already did that down here. And what's the sensory structure we have? Nothing. Oh. Yeah. So sensory structure would be the nose, eyes, ears, mouth, teeth. Yeah. Help them do what? Yeah. And clean. Help them gather and hide. Yeah. And you said hair, but I joked with my husband. Anyone notice that older men seem to get hair and like? Y'all never noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. I joke with him, he's getting more hair inside his ear. I'm like, look, oh, you're getting winter. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. 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 And I say men, thank goodness the women don't. What? <laughs> <laughs> Razor blade in the ear sounds like uh, a 
Waveform regular pattern described by their what? How do we describe waves? By their what? Amplitude and wavelength. So, what two qualities do we use to describe waves? Wavelength. Very nice. Okay. Um, would waves keep going forever if there was no land to stop them? Yeah. Probably. But we wouldn't be able to stop them. Yeah. 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 Why doesn't a buoy move forward with the waves? Because it's a down. Let's make it the same place. Like, it's okay. Like, like, I'm going to go for the water. What do we know about motion and energy that can help us better understand waves? When you like make a big old truck. What? In an organized fashion, guys, what do we know about motion and energy that could better help us understand waves? When you don't get the water hard, and once you hit it, it doesn't make that big of a wave. When you just get it hard, um, how did joking around last time help with your test? It didn't at all, did it? It led to you having to retest, didn't it? So let's stop with all the humor. And let's allow the whole class to engage with the lesson. Sound good, Mr. Andrews? Or I will contact a parent. Clear? 
Yeah, I thought so. Especially since your mom is away with training right now. Yeah. I doubt your dad wants that contact right now. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. If something is moving, does it have energy? Yes. Okay. So waves move. They have energy, right? Okay. So motion so something has energy, so waves have energy. Those buoys are moving up and down and around a circle. So did the buoys have energy transferred to them? What was giving the buoys energy? Um, you guys already said this earlier, but the paddle, where did the energy come from to give to the paddle? Us. us. It moved from us to the paddle. And the paddle transferred it to what? It. To, the water. to the water. I kind of think that us doing module two, now that information is transferring to module three. So they actually did well for once in ordering our lesson, right? Our modules. Um, how can we investigate what's happening with the buoy in the video here in the classroom? By like getting something, like doing a little Oh, so one at table three must have an idea because we're talking over there. What can we do in the wave tank to investigate what's going on with the buoy in the video? Do tell Kimber. Yeah, but what does that have to do with the buoy? Put what? Okay, so what can we put in the wave tank? Logan. Does it need to be something that floats? Yeah, the buoy floats, right? So if we put something in that wave tank that floated, like the buoy floated, could that maybe simulate what's going on with the buoy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we could put something in the wave tank and see what happens to it when we make waves. Is that something we could do? Um, can we see how the wave moves that item that we put in the wave tank? Okay. Would like a plastic boat do that? Yeah. No. Did no. anybody ever play with a plastic boat in the bathtub? No. 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 Really? Surprised. I've never even owned a plastic boat. I played with plastic boats. I just played with plastic boats. I think when they give me experiment items i'll go for that I me mean, not have to buy it for buy it for the experiment okay so if we put objects in the wave tank we might reveal the relationship between waves and energy does everybody understand that yeah okay make sense okay 
All right, so for my friends online, I just need you to snap a picture of your page 21 with the three different pictures and your explanation. Can you send me that page? Um, I can, but it's right here. On Dojo. Yes, but it's right here. Uh, I can. Sure can. All right. Um, any other questions? Because I'm about to stop the recording. All right. <laughs> All right. Any questions, Megan? No questions, Miss Cassett. No, man. I will see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay, bye. Bye, dear.